Robert, the uh, first World Cup experience did not go the way you wanted it to. But what did you learn from this entire competition? Um, you gotta have to prepare. Feel bad for the coaching staff. You have to um, you do really work hard. And then you only, you only have 10 days to prepare. And I feel bad for them. See, lahat ng blame, nagpupunta sa kanila eh. Um, I really feel bad for the coaching staff. I thought we could do better. Some of the games, the winnable game. We didn't have a lot of fun. We didn't have a lot of fun. We offensively and defensively. But it's an eye opener for us, for our country, that give time to prepare, especially in this kind of magnitude. World Cup. Best teams here. It's not a big deal. So it just, just sucks. For me, I'm a bad guy. For gay, for the, those guys, feeling their last in their lives, uh, feel their their pain. Robert, you had a really good performance in the fourth quarter. You were making Iran nervous because they were gunning for an Olympic spot. What was it like, you know, knowing that you can compete against uh, the top players of Iran? Um, I feel um, the thing that they did, their jumping and everything, it's gotta be a motivation. Uh, just for me, especially, it's a motivation for me. That's not never gonna happen again. I uh, will see them for sure. My kid and I'm So I'll feel the pain, sick it in, but bawi kami for sure. You know, I'm gonna see next time. Promise. First, last question. But you've been a winner your whole life, uh, and what does it mean to you going home without a win this time? Sucks. Sucks losing. Zero five. Um, I just feel bad for the coaching staff. They really did well. He scouted. Some of them have no sleep. Just minimal time to prepare, and then it happened again. To we just fought, fought, fought. But um, individually, I think we're better. But as a team, it happened for me.